I'm not quite sure how to do this with my camera running. River's starting to come up. Uh, we're pumping out of the river for a circle of canola behind me. We're gonna take a look at that. But this piece of machinery here is an old round bale hauler. And uh, we modified it by adding these extra pipes in here. And then shortening the axles on one side of our pump cart. Then now it turned into a big, it's like a, a, a train rail that we can roll our pump up and down the shore here, even though the shore has been washed away and it's uneven on the steel, it's perfectly smooth. And then we just took a winch here at the top and we can move it up and down as the river floods or whatever and then at the beginning of the season and at the end of the season, we just hook onto it with a tractor, lift the whole thing hydraulically up and drive away. Of course, we unhook the power cord and a few and the and the pipe, but then everything is contained on this bale hauler. We added some hooks you could see on the top and on the sides to roll up our electrical cables and our anchor cables and stuff. But everything rides on this bale hauler big hydraulic cylinder well anyway hydraulic cylinders on both sides and then we can just lift the whole unit up off the ground and when we're in transport mode we pull the pump forward and we have a big boom sticking out the back that we then with a, a winch a hand winch there we crank the the river the floating river screen right up out of the water and pull it away. All of these pieces are very heavy to move individually and to hook up. So it's nice to leave it all hooked together and just pull it up in our fancy new pump transport and away we go. So if you do some river pumping on an uneven shore and you can find one of these old round bale haulers, they work amazing as a movable pump cart, adjustable pumping wagon all right so we have a main line that goes up to the river or up to the pivot that's full of water and so then when we shut after we've shut down we open this valve that brings water from the main line up into the suction side and refills our screen the suction side there's foot valves in the bottom of that floating screen so now this pipe is full of water ready to be started. And I, I have a valve here just to let the air out. Now we're full, time to hit the start button. Okay, so I've just hit the, the button on the pump and now we got our rotating screen, the self-cleaning river screen. And now I'm gonna open the valve and send the water up to the pivot. I'm looking now down some canola rows here. Here's the baby canola, just starting to come through. Okay, that's a canola. That's a couple of canola. There's another canola. And you can see the ground is lifting here. And those little baby canolas are just trying to push their way through the crust. Now I shouldn't help, I shouldn't favor one above the other. Oh, there he is. There's the little guy just popping through and there's just starting to be a whole row of them heading up there all the rows here in two days they'll just be perfect rows of all these little baby canola it's an awesome miracle so that's our little canola field just coming out you can see in the background there we got the pivot going i just started it with my phone getting the pivot moving um, hopefully we can show that to you in the video how that works Okay, so I go to the app, which is FieldNet, and then I'm not on the right circle, so I go in and select the field that I want, number five, click on that field, 
and then it pulls up and it shows that that pivot has stopped. So I'm going to pick to go in the forward direction, which is clockwise, click on that button, and then I click apply. On that screen, I can also adjust um, my speed by the percentage, or I can plug in how many inches of water I want to put in at a time. And there's a lot of things you can do on the screen. But after I hit apply, it's now communicating through cellular. And you can see up at the top, it's now 50% communicated. And then it'll send through all of the information and yeah, it popped. So now the pivot's moving forward and it's wet, meaning that the pump is running because you can move it dry. So that's, it's amazing all the things that we can do. And I can click on other menus to adjust when the end guns turn on and off and, and all the other details. It's changed our life dramatically to be able to control these pivots um, without driving in through these really rough fields to the pivot point every time. And we can turn them on and adjust the speeds and do a whole bunch of stuff with them, you know, from a thousand miles away. As long as you have a cell, a cell coverage or Wi-Fi, we can go in. So now I'm going to go set the safeties. It's moving. And now we just have to set it so that if something goes wrong with the pump or the pivot, that they both shut off and so we don't have a flood or a pivot going around without any water in it. Beautiful day this spring. Things are just, we've had some incredible heat this spring. So everything is really growing quickly. All right, so now we're at the power panel. We have a Murphy switch, they call it. This is a safety type switch. I push it in, it stayed in. So that means that all systems are go. I flip it to auto. So now, if anything goes wrong at either end, this Murphy switch will pop out and everything will die so that we, that we don't have a flood or anything else go wrong. Set the safeties, we're ready to go. Okay, we got the pivot going. I've never, this is a new kind of end gun for us. It's just a, a big rotator. Um, this field with the fence and the river and the hill, it didn't, anyway, we, the most of the time when we had the other end gun on, it was just spraying into the grass or over the fence. So we took that off and then we got all these eye wobs. Yeah, that baby's moving. We actually have it set to move pretty fast right now uh, because we're just trying to get all these baby canola through the surface. They're just tiny little babies. And some of them, you know, have a bit of a fight to get through that crust. So we'll just give it a quick drink. All right, so we have the pivot started. It's moving. And, whoa, I've got a leak. On this old pivot, this pivot is over 30 years old, so I'm surprised to see a leak. But um, in the main, uh, things are looking good, except I've got a nozzle there that's partially plugged. Now I can try to stop the pivot and go in there and unplug it, but that'll take me another 25 minutes to stop it and restart it. Or I can just bite the bullet and go in there and get wet. But you know, you can tell there's a lot of water coming. People wonder why I don't like camping. Well, a lot of my life kind of resembles camping in the rain uh, on the farm. We get wet a lot, we get dirty a lot, we're in the wind a lot. So I prefer to be in a hotel actually. So here we go, let's see if we can figure this out. All right, so we're gonna try to go in and unplug this nozzle. It's, it, is par it is partially spraying, uh, but there must be a piece of rust in there or something. So, I'm not quite sure how to do this with my camera running. Just so you guys can share in the experience of this whole thing. But we're gonna run in there and we're gonna shut off a couple of nozzles so that we can kind of think this through. Oh boy. Okay, off. And then we'll shut this one off. And then we'll shut this one off. Oh, okay. Uh, now I'm still being sprayed, but this nozzle is plugged. Good grief. So I'm gonna take this apart, which I can't do with one hand. So I'll talk to you in a second. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a big old chunk of wood or something inside that nozzle um, from the river. I mean, we have a screen, but stuff gets through. You can see it's kind of sticking out the bottom there. I can't see it because my glasses are totally covered in water. But I'll get that out 
And we'll reassemble it here, open the valves, and away we go. Okay. All right, so I got it unplugged. I'm about to turn it all on. We can see that beautiful water coming down on those little baby canola. They're just loving this. So great. It's like we planted millions of little pumps and they're all starting to pump the water out of the ground and then there's solar panels. So pumps that have solar panels that make sugar. It's unbelievable. So the, the pump starts to pump the water the leaves start to absorb the energy from the sun and they soak up the carbon dioxide from the air and bond it with the water to make sugar. And then they release the oxygen out into the air for us to breathe. It's absolutely amazing. And all you gotta do is get them in the ground and get them some water and then the miracle starts. Okay, here we go, water's on. I'm wet. Woo! Oh. So. That's why I don't like camping. I mean, it's fun, but we do it all the time. Talk to you later. Oh, yeah. So, we got that pivot going. It's right out there. Water's going. Water, a pivot that's running, irrigating a field is one of the more beautiful sites for an irrigation farmer obviously um i just thought i should add to this video that um these round glasses they're just reading glasses my eyes i'm you know i'm around 50 now and my eyes are they're not adjusting anymore i still can see great from a distance but up close they won't adjust and it's very frustrating many of you that have experienced it understand what i'm saying but i just gotta tell you my wife doesn't like these round glasses she wants me to wear those Walmart specials to make me look like an office worker. And um, so I ordered a bunch of these online. I don't know, it, it actually makes me like them more that she doesn't like them. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure why we're that way sometimes. Cause Tammy and I get along really well, but there's just something about like pushing some of those little buttons sometimes that's kind of fun. But anyway, she says now after several months that they're kind of growing on her and so that's nice that she's coming around but uh it was nice to have you come along to help me irrigate today um yeah the glasses lots of water i am wet talk to you later